Today we're going to be talking about the Epicor 10.1 Solution Workbench. Specifically, we are going to be speaking of the changes between 10 and 10.1 to the Solution Workbench. If you want to, or if you're looking for information on the version, or the difference between Epicor 9 and Epicor 10 Solution Workbench, go to our YouTube channel. Uh, there should be one of them called the Epicor 10 Solution Manager or Solution Workbench. It was presented on 9.9 of 15, so that would be the one that you would want to if you were want to look for a comparison between 9 and 10. Uh, this one is just simply going to be looking for the differences between 10 and 10.1. So first off, let's start with what are the differences? There's not many, so this will be quick. So we'll look at it like this. Here's what we have in here. The ones in yellow are the ones that are new in version 10.1. They weren't available in 10. The base extension, uh, customization, localization, productization, and verticalization. Uh, the customization, or all of these will be actually used to reside in the XXX def and now they've separated them out into their own items. Base extension is in an extension of one of the forms. It's very version specific. Uh, they don't upgrade very well and they cause issues. So as if you had an issue then you put a base extension in order to make something to work. So it's necessarily not necessarily a good thing but they did separate them out. The localization, productization, and verticalization. Let's talk about the uh, definitions for those. Localization is a language specific interface or you have a location in the United States or an English speaking you have a location in an Arabic or Italian or whatever you can have two different forms or two different customizations that uh, do the same thing but the text is different you know right to left versus left to right or vice versa or you can do whatever uh, the localization you can do yourself Productization and verticalizations, those need to be done by Epicor or an Epicor partner organization, and those are not necessarily the Epicor consultants, but a partner organization. Uh, what is a productization? It is the variance for an application to meet a very specific requirement for each product. Kind of a generic term, but it, if there's a product that is very has very specific needs, they can put a productization in, and then it could be used across, you know, not only your company but others. So. Same with the verticalization. That is an industry specific user requirement. And basically, what that is is for the terminology, the data fields necessary, and in some kinds, the data flow. Again, both the productization and verticalization are something that need to be done by Epicor or an Epicor partner organization. The rest of the items here are the standard ones that are in here. If we go over those quickly, there's the BAQ and the BAQ report, uh, those we would normally use. The BP, um, the BP directive is it has it's use your method and data directives. Uh, I have used them for it and I've also not used them for it. In most cases I try to use the BPM export and import them individually. Dashboards, self-explanatory, IP form, uh, those are forms that are created in your BPMs. Uh, your menu items, that one you would normally use. Be careful with the menu items that are standard out of the box. Menu items, if they have customizations or whatever, I have had them not export or not import and some do import just be careful the report report style and report data definitions everybody loves the RDDs a security if you create your own security items yes you'll normally use them the UD code type uh, these are the list of UD code types and they are not the UD fields the XXX def is what was everything kind of fell into and now there's other things when I did a search on this other one it didn't appear to have anything, but we can keep letting go go looking forward. The ZBO def and the Z data set and the Z data table, those are mainly used when you're doing tracking solutions and not necessarily moving stuff over, so they're available so that you can track things. So, so now let's do a quick show of Epicor here in the Solution Manager. Let's talk about, first off, where it is. It's under System Management, Solution Management, and the Solution Workbench couple things that actually work in 10.1 in versus in 10. You can actually now type what you want and it will recognize that it's new and ask you if it's new. In version 10, not so much. So let's add to the solution here. 
and if we do customizations do a search this will just show all the customizations in version 10 you would have to go to the XXX def and then go click on the type code and sort by that in order so that you can get them correct because the base extensions, the localizations, the productizations, and the verticalizations all resided in there and there was other things in there. If we look in this now, there doesn't appear to be anything in there. Oh, one thing I was going to show you. The next thing that is working now in, in the solution manager now is the search if you want to start at. I don't think it's quite going correctly, but you can start. It has in the past <laughs> at least gotten you closer. So right now it doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. It is working on some, but not so much on the others. So menu items. If you're adding menu items and you're looking for which ones have customizations attached, there's a couple different ways to do that when you add the menu item you can start them with a specific letter like UD or CB or something so they're easily grabbed so you can grab them by the menu ID if you're not quite sure you can sort by the arguments here I'm going to sort descending by arguments here if you look here anything that has a dash C in the front of it is actually a customization so if you want to grab all the menu items that have customizations you grab anything that has a dash C. Now one thing to be cognizant of is sometimes there's a space dash C which just doesn't sort in the same order and if there's a space dash or a dash space C then you get the same thing so just be careful if you put them in yourself sometimes it's it does some weird thing. The other ones in here I believe D is a dashboard. So with that there's not a whole lot to it. My name is Monty Tislin and thank you very much for your time.